welcome back and in today's video i'll guide you through the process on how you can create an automation on your ipad so the first step is to open shortcuts and in shortcuts select automation from here as you can see i already have one created automation and this means that whenever my battery level reaches 40 percent low power mode will activate if you're new to start creating automations, simply tap on this plus icon here, then scroll through the different automation styles to create one. So you can choose to create an alarm automation, a message one, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, it's all up to you. So select exactly what type of automation you want. Say for example, I wanted to choose a reading. So I would tap on the option. Then from here, I can choose when turning on or when turning off reading mode. Then once you've selected either option, you can choose to have it turn on after confirmation, or you can choose to have it enable automatically with you receiving a notification. Once you've decided those uh, two features, tap on next to continue with your creation. Then from here, you can now decide what action you want your iPad to take when you turn on that automation. So you can choose to have it turn on low power mode. You can choose to have it stick to a set volume. You can choose to set up a hotspot password or, and you have all sorts of other uh, things that you can choose from. So you can choose to start camera capture, a set a timer, FaceTime, scan files. It's all up to you. And once you select an action, so say for example, uh, set media volume, so you can choose to set your media volume, your ringtone, or, and you can choose to set how high or how low you want it to be. So let's say, for example, I choose to set my media volume to 36%, and then from here, I can tap on done. So now, whenever reading mode is activated, my media volume will automatically reduce to 36%. If you want to customize it, you can always just tap on that automation and then choose a set volume and increase or decrease to your liking. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.